hello, so we are back. And this time in 4K. So I set up my top camera on 4K, I'm recording on 4K. Very soon a microscope camera on 4K, so we're trying, you know, just to push the things. Yeah. Okay, what do we have here? We have a laptop. This comes from a local repair shop. Uh, they tried to figure it out was the problem, they couldn't figure it out. So the issue with this one, check there, you have like 0 0.9, yeah? Let me bring the multimeter on screen. Uh, so it's charging fine, 900 milliamps, probably the battery is nearly fully charged. Okay, nothing wrong here. Now you can see the charging light there. Let's press the power button, pressing the power button. We can see the light there on the power button. You can see the current is going up to 1.9 amps. The fans are spinning. Everything is fine, but no picture. Hmm? Now, yeah, I know what is the problem. That's the reason why I start the video. But let's assume you have this job. How you'll fix it. What you'll do. So basically the laptop is coming up with no picture on the screen. Huh? What about the caps lock? Caps lock isn't working. I'm just, you know, give you some hints. Now what you will do, and you will say, sorry, the first thing what I will do, I will check the board, yeah, check to see some voltages, some things, yeah, let's have a look. So we have the multimeter on screen, what do we have here? Uh, we have the main power rail, let's see, no, this is the 3.3, one second, where is the main power rail? Has to be somewhere here. 18.5, uh, check on screen, yeah, we have, it's present. So the main power rail is present, right? Okay, the voltages. Let's see, on this coil we have, on this coil we have one volt, yeah? On this coil, or test point, we have 0 0.9. Here we have 3.3. Here we have 1.8. Here we have 5 volts, 5.1. This is the charging coil and we have 50.7. Yeah, the level is charging fine. Here we have 1.2, 1.191, 1 1.2 volts, probably this is the RAM power supply, yeah. Here we have 3.3, okay. Here we have uh, should be 2.5, yeah, it is 2.5 for RAM memory. And everything looks fine. Here we have first two MOSFETs, we have the current sensor, so everything is fine, yeah, 18.5. So what you will do in this case? Hmm? Yeah, I said here we have one volt. We have a few more coils here, but we can't reach them. This is the BIOS chip. The BIOS chip has, wow, this is hot. Uh, the BIOS chip, one second. 1 1.8 volts. Yeah, you can see on the screen. The BIOS chip has voltage. We have onboard RAM. I don't think we have RAM here. Let me check. Probably not. No, we don't need because we have onboard RAM. Yeah, the new laptops they all have onboard RAM. Okay, so what is the way to go from now on? Let's be honest. Yeah, and try to answer this question. Sorry, I check. Looks like every power rail is present. Okay, what we are doing? How we are dealing with this? I mean, I can unplug the battery. I can start the laptop without the battery. Same story. Let's see, pressing the power button. You can see the laptop is coming on. It's taking one amp without the battery, yes. So the board is on. I mean, we check the voltages. All are present. The CPU is hot. That's mean the, the voltage on the CPU probably are good. You can see one amp coming on no picture. So what do you all think? You all think, sorry, the best way to go for our, with this uh, laptop, what about BIOS, yeah? Can be a BIOS problem, can be, can be, can be, yeah? But before the BIOS, yeah, before the BIOS, let's just give me, give you a tip, yeah? Just let me give you a tip. So clearly we can see there's no picture, yeah? Let me just give you a tip. Before, yeah, because, yeah, we check the voltages, everything is fine before you go to the BIOS, yeah, because that's the next step, let's be honest, that's the next step. Okay, let me try to, 
you know the AC chip looks fine it's charging so it's listening the power button is no AC chip issue you can see the AC chip here clearly can be a BIOS especially uh, like ME, ME region from inside of the BIOS okay it can be a problem but before that yeah this is a board with onboard RAM yeah check here okay I mean the voltage is right it is right but how we are checking what about if the because this is a common fault actually crack solders between the RAM memories yeah how we are checking something like that so you can have a look I mean looks anything weird there like you can see anything weird to the RAM memory because I can't how we are testing and that's very simple and it's, it's not the first time but the first time when actually I can I can do a video about this so plug in the charger so the way to go is to push every RAM chip yeah so pushing let's see I try to push two just to sure the the video so I'm keeping pushed the RAM memory and nothing really happened I mean no picture on the screen I mean, yeah, we reset the BIOS. I mean, we unplug the battery, but sh we should have picture, right? Or we should wait a little bit. No, no picture, no picture. One amp, well, no picture, yeah? Good. Now let's try the next two. I plug in the charger again, the next two chips. Pressing the power button. It's taking one amp. Let's see. And have no picture. Okay, that's strange. That's weird. Okay, that that's that's weird, yeah? Because already I checked and I know the area but I don't know the, exactly the chip. Okay, so we have no picture, but it's taking one point zero six. Maybe we should check the caps look. Yeah, the cup look is not working. Okay, let's try, let's try the first one, yeah? I'm pretty sure it's the first one. So the first memory chip, pressing the power button. Yeah, we press the power button. Check that picture. Now I'm, I'm releasing. Check the screen. It's frozen. The system is frozen. It's making lines and things like that. You can see. Now the system indeed is frozen. Whatever I, I press, nothing it will happen. So is the first memory memory chip from here from this side. This one. Huh? It's pretty cool. I mean that's how you can test if uh, you have a RAM issue or not, yeah? So first one. Pushing the power button and the laptop is coming on. I'm just curious which side of the chip it is. And it's working. I think it's the bottom, uh, the bottom uh, side. And we can see we have picture on the screen. Now releasing the finger, and the system is frozen. Okay, that's how you can check. Uh, no, now you can push back, and nothing it will happen. Once all the system froze, is nothing what you can do. Cool. Yeah, that's how you can check. That's how you can check. Obviously, it's a crack solder behind. You push, it will touch. Simple, yeah? So let me just take out the fan quickly. Let's reflow that uh, memory chip. Now, you can try something cool. You can take all out and just plug the memory. I'm pretty sure it will work. I didn't try, but it should work. Okay, let's have a look together. Okay, that's cool. So how we are flowing a memory chip? Very simple, just a little bit of flux. I prefer uh, I prefer Rosin. I prefer Rosin. I'll use Rosin this time. Yeah, that's all. That's all. You don't need more. Yeah, that's all. That's all. If you use more, it will get messy. Now I need a nozzle, probably a big one. Yeah, let me choose a bigger nozzle perfect max temperature I mean it should be fine you know 
180 degrees, 50% air, should be fine. Now let's do it. So the idea is to do it till the chip is moving, yeah? That's the idea. When you see the chip moving, it's done. Yeah, it's moving, you can see? It's moving. So it's done. That's the moment you stop. And that's the moment when actually the job is done. Now you have to cool out the board quickly. I'm, uh, I have a thermal pad here, so I can cool the board quickly. This is a big board, yeah, the board is flexing and uh, uh, it will end up with cracked solders between the, 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 the RAM memory. Okay, it should be fine, yeah, we can test it, right? Yeah. Yeah, perfect, like 40 degrees, perfect. So plug in the charger, let's power on the laptop, and let's see. Power on. One fan is spinning, one is not present <laughs> because it took out the fan. Yeah, like about one amp. Caps lock, not yet. Probably it's loading the BIOS, yeah. Obviously, we disconnect the battery, so it has to load the BIOS every time we are plugging the power. What happened with my focus? One point zero four zero five. We should have picture soon, hopefully. One point zero seven. Lol, actually, we don't have picture. Well, that sucks, you don't think? Huh? We have no picture. Yeah, it's getting hot. You see, the current is going up. You know, the hotter it's getting, the, the more current is taking. You know, the, the, the throttling thing. Yeah? Okay, so it's not working. Clearly, it's not working. Probably is the next chip. But that's fine, don't worry, that's fine, that's fine. Let's use some flux. Same Rosin flux. And let's quickly reflow the next one. So the next ship in line is this one. Let's boil the, the rosin a little bit first. Just evaporate the alcohol from the rosin. Yeah, and you can see now how it's bubbling. It's very dense right now, yeah? Let's see. The second chip reflow. Yeah, it's moving. You can see it is moving. It's fine. It's fine. Now let's cool down the chip. And it's still not working. I can't believe. I can't believe. Let's try to press the chip down. Still doing it? I'm just curious. Because has to are two left, yeah? Only two left. You think I remember it is on the other side of the board? Probably not. No. Hmm? Probably not. No, it's not working. If now if I'm if I'm holding the chip down, it's not working. Whoa. That kind of sucks. We broke it. It was good. 
We have picture, you remember? Yeah, that sucks, yeah? Really sucks. Okay, let's reflow the next two. So we have the last two chips to reflow. Yeah, last two. Last in. Good. Let's boil the roast in a little bit. Okay, that one is moving. And this one is moving, okay? So now all four chips has been reflowed, yeah? It should be working fine. Let me plug the fan because the, the CPU is really getting hot. Let me plug this fan. If you ask yourself, if you plug the memory, it will ignore the board memory? No. Yeah. So even if you plug the RAM memory, it will not work. So take your mind out. Just, you know, okay, I'll plug another RAM memory and it will work. No, it doesn't work like that. Okay, let's plug the charger. We plug the charger. Press the power button. We press the power button. Hopefully it will work because otherwise... Uh, yeah, but it should work. Yeah, it's working fine, you can see. So, instead of the first one, I think it was the last one. Yeah, it's working fine. And if I'm, I'm bending the board, bending the board, yeah, you can see I'm bending the board. Nothing happened. So that's mean we are okay. Yeah, I can't press anything here, right? No, nothing. Give me one second. And then put a screw here. Proper hot. Okay, now let's test one more time. Pressing the power button. Okay, all good, yeah? So you can see the laptop is working great, fantastic. Yeah, I can, you see, it's still moving. So we know the RAM issue has been fixed, yeah? So that's how you fix a RAM memory problem. That's how you test. The idea is to test because the fix, I believe everyone knows how to reflow. Uh, RAM memory. So basically, we found out actually this one was pressing, was not working, but actually it was the first one. Yeah. So we reflow the the all four uh, RAM memory chips. Okay. That's how you do it. Yeah. Just before spending time with the BIOS and after that, oh, still not working. Okay, I cannot fix it. Probably it's at the CPU. I'm just saying. I would say thank you for watching, like and subscribe if you like the video, like always, yeah? And uh, see you on the next one. Bye.